Hello everyone, this is Ross with Market Traders Daily and this is today's video analysis for November 12, 2019. Today we're taking a look at the EUR USD, the Euro versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. Starting here on the daily time frame, a couple of trends that we want to look at. First, the black trend line, the, the rising black trend line as the market went up from the 1.0880 level down at the bottom of the black trend line all the way up into the 1.1175 or so level the blue shaded area right about the middle of the chart came up challenged the 100 and 200 period moving average channel there and turned right back around in the recent week we have seen the market falling from that 111.85 level now back challenging 110.20 the yellow zone near market price we're going to focus in on that yellow zone today so let's zoom in one time let's take a couple of fibonacci retracement measurements or at least one uh from the bottom of the black trend line to the last high that we see here at the blue zone so bottom to top uh, of the last uptrend we see the 50 percent retracement level living at the top of the yellow zone 110 29 or 11030 it's the top of the yellow shaded area. We are just underneath that right now as market pressure is underneath the yellow shaded area. So we're going to use that yellow zone as our resistance for the day today as the market is underneath at 11015 is current market price. If the market continues to stay underneath the yellow zone, our confidence starts to increase that we're going to look forward to go down to the 0 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level, 1.0993 the pink zone it does not have to do that but that's what we're going to begin looking for that's our our confidence is beginning to raise or increase as it stays underneath the yellows underneath underneath the 50 percent retracement level and continues to move lower by the way the 382 fib of that same trend range lives up here at the purple shaded area 110 64 looks like uh, on the 382 so we're well underneath there pressuring lower down towards the 0 0.618 so right now the momentum the sentiment the the trend in the past week week and a half has been more bearish than bullish for the euro dollar and as it does that we look for opportunities to sell and we want to be confident in those sells so we're looking for at this point a breakout underneath the yellow zone we don't want a false breakout we want a real breakout we talk about that quite a bit in the trade room what a real breakout looks like what a false breakout looks like and so that's what we're waiting on indications of real break underneath 11020 and the continuation to the 10995 or lower levels as the euro dollar continues to push lower now the opposite of that is true as well it may not break and we could be looking for clues for reversal as it continues to go down if the buyers step back in drive it right back above 11030 the top of that yellow zone we could be looking for it back to the purple zone or higher for the euro dollar all it's going to take is some significant sell-off of the u.s dollar or positive news for the euro and this is going to turn right back around and go back up towards the purple zone or higher so we'll keep an eye on the news poor news negative news for the u.s dollar will continue to or we'll look for this to turn around and go back higher if we see positive momentum for the u.s dollar this could continue its push underneath the yellow zone and go back down to the pink zone let's take it down to the four hour time frame and you can see what's happening here we had this hesitation at the yellow zone it came down found some support bounced up a little bit and now here we are a surge of sellers coming back in sending it back underneath the yellow shaded area again we don't want a false breakout we want a real breakout so we'll talk about clues in the trade room today about what a real breakout rather than a false breakout will look like we also will look at two other uh, clues and indicators uh, for the the euro dollar we'll look at the US dollar index and we'll look at another indicator that may give us some confidence and taking a uh, a short under the yellow zone or a long back above the yellow zone as price action price action indicates uh, but those are the things we're going to be looking at a real waiting for the real breakout under the yellow zone or indications of reversal back above the yellow zone for the euro dollar today from forex traders daily this has been your daily analysis with ross mullins if you would like to get ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below